Here are the basics of the Doppler effect and its use in astronomy. Light is a wave. The basic properties of a wave are its wavelength, its frequency, and its speed. Because the speed of light is constant in vacuum, wavelength and frequency are inversely related. A short wavelength means high frequency, and a long wavelength means a low frequency. As an example, for visible light, the red range of the spectrum is long wavelength and low frequency, while colors such as blue, indigo, or violet are short wavelength and high frequency. An interesting behavior of waves is that they will change frequency for a moving source. This was first discovered for sound waves. <laughs> As a high-speed car passes you, the pitch goes from high to low. From the car's perspective, the pitch remains the same. The reason for this change of pitch which is related to the frequency of sound is because in front of the car, the waves were bunched up, hence we heard the higher sound. Behind the car, the waves spread out, becoming longer wavelength and hence lower frequency and we heard the lower pitch sound. In space, there is no sound. However, objects do emit or reflect light. Light is a wave, hence it also behaves the same way when its source is moving. The wavelength in front of the moving light source is going to be shorter, hence the frequency higher, hence the color of the light will be observed to be slightly bluer. Behind the moving light source, the wavelength gets spread out, hence the frequency will be lower, hence the color will be just slightly redder. This change in frequency is so slight that it is imperceptible to the naked eye. Rather, we rely on careful spectroscopic measurements 
of spectral lines of the source to measure this effect. When a source is moving towards us, then each one of its spectral lines will shift to shorter frequency and we call this blue shift. Conversely, when a source is moving away from us, each of its spectral lines will be observed at a slightly longer wavelength. We call this redshift. We can use this relationship to back calculate the relative movement of a light source in astronomy to deduce certain physical processes. Doppler shift observations of stellar spectra are used to detect the gravitational tug of extrasolar planets around their parent star. Doppler shift measurements of galactic rotation have been used to deduce the presence of dark matter. Doppler shift measurements have been used to construct Hubble's law and hence provide the first observational evidence for the Big Bang. Please be careful with the vocabulary when describing the Doppler shift. Doppler shift is about moving towards or away from the observer. It provides no information about the actual distance of the object. Conversely, also understand that the color of a star is not directly related to its Doppler shift. The color of a star is determined by its surface temperature. 